All right, BC, welcome to a reoccurring mead tasting in your life. Yeah. This is the bulk versus bottle age. You were part of year four, I think, at least. Maybe year three, if I remember correctly. I Let's look at some fond moments from yeah. that time. No. Oh. But they're very similar. I'm, I'm sure there are lots of clips right there. <laughs> nice, like, slow music, yeah. <laughs> you know. So we're here at year five. Year I, five. This was made February 2019. Wow. Bottled and all that within that certain amount of time. Is that before we met? Before we met. Wow. I know, it's been a long time. What kind of honey was in here? <clears throat> this is a, a pear, fenugreek, and cilantro mead. Oh, God. <laughs> is this your first? This is the comp one. This the is first the, comp. Yeah, yeah okay. what I sent off to the comp. It's all coming back to me. Special now. category okay. for for Iron Bee at the time, uh -huh. which was in uh, Minnesota. Okay. And I got like a 30 something on it, if I remember correctly. And I thought so it was it's awesome. really good. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Five <laughs> years later, the, the the intent here is to see if there's any difference between something that's aged in a bottle like this versus a one gallon carboy. Now, before you people get in the comments and start saying, "Well, this only matters if it's five gallons or above," mm. it's like well, maybe that's true. Who knows? But also, you don't know because you haven't been here. Mm. So we're gonna taste test. It. <laughs> well, and you know, with bottles. They're all treated differently, mm -hmm. you know? You might have taken one out, you know, you had a party, so you chilled it down, right? and then nobody came to your party, so you, it, you didn't open it. Take it back out of the fridge, put it back on the shelf, and that, that sort of thing can happen over and over and over again and change the taste bottle to bottle in a way that this is just gonna, you know, you're not sticking this in the fridge for later. Right. We'll see, so this is, I organized this way. Right hand is bulk, yep. Got it. left hand is bottle. So, uh, do you, do we have any structure here? No! Yeah. Let's just go for it. Let's just see what happens. Um, okay. Obviously, we'll do some nose checks and stuff, but like, I mean, they look the same. The bulk one appears to be slightly darker. Really? Huh. Gonna, oh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, That's just, interesting. Just slightly darker. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Which could mean anything. Literally. Literally anything. Literally anything. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and forth with my nose. Oh mm. man. That maple, you get that mm -hmm. maple from it. It's super mm -hmm. weird. All that fenugreek seed. That's the key, by the way, if anyone wants to make a maple mead without maple <laughs> syrup. It's fenugreek, yeah. literally. It's yeah, there's a guy on Reddit that won't shut up about it. And you know, it's not wrong, but it's just like maple adjacent. I yeah. wouldn't say it's like maple syrup, but I've uh, I've used fenugreek on like turkey mm -hmm. and it gives it like a maple-y thing without having to deal with maple syrup. Interesting. So. I'd like to do more with it at some point. I get something different with the bottle. I get a little more, I don't want to say sweetness, but there's like a more warm, more, um, the something there. The nose on the bottle is more muted. Yeah. This one is is loud and proud. And yeah. this one's kind of, it's kind of hanging out down This one, here. the bulk has a funk in the nose to me. There's like a little bit of a, it's something I'm familiar with from my older meads, pre-stabilizing. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't it think smells. It's... It smells oxidized. It's got, um, but not like uh, cardboard. It smells like sherry mm -hmm. wine. That like rich, buttery kind of interesting smell. You ready? What do you want to go first? I, th I think I want to start with the bottled one first because this one feels pretty rich and dense. Okay. In a way that it, I might, I might need a fresher palate. All right. Or something. So you don't give them a lot of the uh, cilantro. No, cilantro is a lot <laughs> lost on the, the taste. Oof. There's a big uh, kind of slightly sour but mostly bitter kick on the end. Yeah. That kind of also warms you on its way down. It's very like um, when I think pear skin. That's what I get. Not necessarily mm -hmm. super fruit. There's a little fruit element, but there, but that the like an unripe pear that yeah. first bite. Yeah. Honey's like just a warm note in there. I Honey's mean, there. There's a little bit of like a soft vanilla kind of note in yep. there too, which could just be, again, oxidizing <laughs> oxidizing over the years. It's kind of a cooked fruit kind of flavor. Yeah, it's not It's not bad. I mean, there are definitely some some funks, a little bit of something in there, but I do it's wonder. It's smooth. Yeah. There ain't no alcohol burn in here. It's true. I'm gonna grab us some water so we... This is probably a good idea. One million years later. No water. Bulk aged. No water for the wicked, is that how that goes? No water. That's a town in Oklahoma. 
No, that's true. That's true. My uncle used to drive school buses up there. Hmm. There is definitely a more. I forgot about the bitter sour thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Being away from it for like two minutes, you kind of forget all the yeah. taste. They both finish very similarly. Yeah. But I will say that there is something on the front end in the bulk aged one that's not in the bottle aged one. Something that's mm. a little bit. I feel like I get, and again, it could be because we've been away from it for a second, but the that maple character, maybe it is that oxidized like sherry, whatever mm -hmm. that note is definitely more prevalent here in the bulk in that front. Yeah, yeah. It's it's deeper. Mm -hmm. It's it's almost that finish, that bitter finish. It, it's all it's a little bit sweeter yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So that bitter finish with that sweetness almost gives it like a dark chocolate kind of thing Ooh, that yeah. it's pulling you yeah. down into. Interesting. So you sip it and it's like honey maple dark chocolate. And you're kind of falling through the the huh. void of it. There's definitely a difference. How drastic of a dis difference would you say there is? I opinion? could pick them out in a triangle test. Yeah. Uh, I could pick these out of a triangle test. I think yeah. they're they're yeah. different enough that it wouldn't be hard to to pick the odd man out in a in a trio of blind taste tests. Is it dramatic? Maybe a little. If I drink a bottle of this tonight and a bottle of this tomorrow night, I probably wouldn't know the difference. Mm. I think it's a forgettable amount of difference. Mm. But I think that the one in the bottle finishes cleaner than the one that was bulk. I would agree. I think between the two, that there's a more warm character that probably could be oxygen, who knows. Or even, you know, there's always a truth that they're probably, some, this is a very dark carboy. Yeah. I'm it's pretty clear. sure. I mean, it's clear and there's there's probably some, some there's junk a, about on a the half bottom. an inch of sediment down so there. So yeah. that sediment could provide its own thing, you know, sur surly, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Aging mm -hmm. surly. Yeah, usually that'll give it like a nutty mm. kind of character, umami character. So this is, this is I prefer the bottle. He prefers I prefer the bottle. The bottle. Yeah. I also prefer the bottle because it's way easier to put back some bottles than it is to keep a whole carboy for sure around for years. So but you did it, man. I did it. It's part of your family. I keep saying this is the last one, but I imagine another bottle is going to roll around. Okay. Go ahead well, and yell at me in the comments about that. I'll have some fun. Thanks for doing this. It's an interesting experiment. I'm glad somebody tried it. That's these are the results. <laughs> Go check out Doing the Most if you haven't already. Link in the description, of course. He's got tons of other brewing content. He is uh, very busy with that. Mm -hmm. Has been, is currently. Life just gets busier. Just gets busier. We'll see you over there or here. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>